going on holiday and um, I'm going to be going to Dubai so I want to take products with me, makeup products that are going to um, make sure they last to the, through the heat. I'm not expecting anything other than a normal summer that we have, normal being the nicer end of the summer we have, so temperatures of around 19 to 20 degrees Celsius. At the moment I checked it's about um, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so um, it's not heat wave weather by any means, um, but enough for me to still want to wear makeup most days, especially in the evening, maybe not in the daytime, but in the evening, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going. So I thought I need to pack products for um, the weather. Now initially, I've always had this fascination about wanting to know how people in India would cope with weather, with products just melting off. And I, I always said, I can hear something, I always said that waterproof would be, um, makeup would be the thing that I take. So um, I'm going to do a little experiment while I'm out there and just seeing, you know, what products work better. So for the days where I feel like I want to give myself a break and not have anything uh, silicone based, which is the waterproof element, I would use something like this, which is just my regular HD foundation by Makeup Forever. It's just a liquid foundation in my colour. I don't need to mix it or anything. It's perfect for me. Um, so I'll take that for general everyday use towards the evening. Um, for the daytime, um, I would like to use these two here. You only need a little bit of these. These are Airbrush Foundation by Temp2 and this is silicone based, so absolutely waterproof. I'm going to be using these um, a couple of times just to see, you know, do I do how how it performs um, with, you know, in comparison to my regular foundation. Um, the other product that I want to try out out there is my Mac Full Coverage. Um, this for me is just too much for everyday hair, but um, if I find the others make my uh, make it melt, then this might be the one that I, I should try next and, and see whether that will fare. Again, this is a slightly darker tone for me. Normally I mix it with a cool tone foundation, but I think with the tan that I'll get, this will be fine. If I find that my foundation's running away, I'm gonna put my primer on first, which is my Studio Secrets by L'Oreal. They work with all of those products. It's actually silicone based, so it should be fine. Then I'm going to set it with some loose powder. I'm just taking my Glam Spot Cosmetics loose powder, warm toned one. Um, for my um, concealer, I'm going to use my Doo Wop concealer. That's the concealer in the lid with the mousse under the bottom. I think that's really nice and it's slightly darker shade, so it'll work well with the tan. Um, for my eye base, I'm going to use my NYX White Eyeshadow Base. That will um, be amazing, I think. There. It will hold the eyeshadows and stop them from watering off. Although I don't expect the, water, the, the, the weather to be as hot as I, I anticipate. I'm really hoping it is. But going by the forecast, you know, I went eight years ago to this day and the weather was gorgeous. It was really hot, unbearably hot. So I'm still rooting for nice weather okay so um waterproof eyeliner this is inglots number 77 black that's all i need clear mascara no clear brow gel to help me with my um unruly eyebrows i like shimmer and i'm contemplating taking this i actually won't probably take it because i've got products in my eyeshadow kit that i can wear but this is my bronzer from um, body shop that i love Blink and Go Mascara. It isn't waterproof, but it it's a really nice mascara. I wouldn't do without it, to be honest. Um, I don't really like too many others now. For lipstick, I'm just going to take this. This is a uh, MAC Pro palette in which I have melted in uh, MAC lipsticks, my favourite ones. So I will just take this. This is going to be more than enough for me there. There's plenty of colours for me to choose from. And then for eyeshadow... <laughs> Well, that's a tough thing. Inglot palette, which is weighs a ton, but it's got all the colours I want. It's got my nudes, it's got my, um, you know, bright colours that I would wear when I'm out there. You know I like my bright colours. But it's also got blushes in there as well. So I've got choice of blushes and I've got um, my face powder too. What I might do is take out like these colours, take out these three, leave them behind and take out some of the bright and neutral colours from in there 
and then place them in between so that I only take one palette. I think, you know, one palette is going to be better for me, so I am going to just remove this colour and that. Just keep these two as blushes because they're my favourite anyway. And then fill the space up with um, some of these eyeshadows because I don't really need all of these eyeshadows. I'm not going to need red from that palette. I don't think I'm going to wear purple out there. Hope that's useful to you and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.